Okay, we have moved into the SQL injection uh, advanced over here. All right. uh, of course, I've already logged in. Okay, I do not actually need the web wolf here. All right, so I'm just going to just stick to my browser. Okay, let me just get rid of this. And of course, uh, in the beginning, there is the two pages of SQL injection that you can read. There's nothing much over here. Uh, just some codes and some unions. Right. But on the third section, there actually is a practical form down here right, where you actually have uh, two particular exercises, which is to execute a query to union or join uh, the tables. Right. Then uh, to figure out uh, what is the password okay so we have been given one particular clue over here which is one of the tables in the web group database and this particular table actually is called the user system table and we will be able to find the username as well as password okay, which later on we will need it to search for the password itself now, uh, just to kickstart, right, I'm just going to type in my name, right, and of course, I don't exist, okay, right. and if I were to type in Dave, right, again, we can't actually find the answer that we want, right. so what I need to do is actually I need to use this as put a single quote inside here and I will actually get a malform string so which means that this uh, text box over here can have a actually have a SQL injection vulnerability so right let me just show you the what I'm gonna use so I'm going to use this piece of code over here all right which is basically lean followed by an ending closing the SQL statement right, properly then followed by another SQL statement right, which is to extract information from the user system data and the SQL using a semicolon and of course comment the remaining so just let me copy this and I will overwrite what is inside here and paste it inside here okay and I'll click the get account now what I can see over here is now I can see this particular user system data table and it contains a user ID name password and a cookie I'm not interested in the cookie but what I am interested is this part over here because I am supposed to find out what is Dave password so Dave password is Dave all right so the password is actually Dave so I can key in Dave check the password and you can find that yes all right we have found out what is Dave password over here